Right. Brought about by people who knew that he was not only good, but the best of men. That's an archetypal tragedy. And then it doesn't limit out. So then you have the death that occurs in consequence of that and its voluntary acceptance. But that's not where it ends because the mythology surrounding the crucifixion story insists that Christ harrowed hell after the crucifixion, which meant that he confronted not only death, but malevolence itself and in consequence transcended both. And so what's the underlying psychological message? It's something like the calling and the voice of conscience informing people that in order to thrive properly in life and to become who you could be, if you could be everything you could be, you have to voluntarily take on the weight of the worst life has to offer, including the depths of malevolence itself. And you think, well, obviously, Joe, you know this. Like, how are you going to adapt to a situation you won't even admit to? Right. Well, so how could it be otherwise than for you to become everything that you could be? You have to embrace all of the catastrophes that life has to offer. Mm. Like, how could it all? How could it be other than that? You're going to hide? You're going to pretend? Right. How's that going to work? No one thinks that'll work. Right. And so, and you're right, there, there is this defensive element to the particularly the Protestant religious tradition, although I don't want to single out the Protestants specifically, that insists that, you know, the work has already been done. But there's a lot of ambivalence about that in the Christian canon because there's an equal insistence that, no, you're supposed to, uh, you're supposed to take all this on voluntarily. And that not only that, not only that, that that's, it's such an interesting idea because it makes so much sense psychologically. So imagine that as your courage grows so that you can confront more and more of the horror of life, that a spirit begins to develop within you that gives you a strength that's commensurate with your daring. That's walking with God. That's the same thing. So the promise is that if you had the courage, something would be with you to allow you to bear up nobly under the burden. And I, all the clinical evidence supports that proclamation because what you see in people in the therapeutic transformation is that insofar as they're willing to confront what terrifies them voluntarily, they get stronger.